it's very hard to get hired at a place like Jane Street. You got to be a math whiz. You got to like I give you a good math problem. I, I was just looking at. Um, give me one second. I'll find it for you. Here, I'll, I got it on this laptop. Actually, it's pretty simple, but the like most of my problems, it's like a little brain teaser. So this should be if you you want to work at Jane Street, this has to be immediately apparent to you. In fact, you should already know the problem from other people, but if you're brand new to the problem, you still should be solving it very quickly. All right, so this is pi notation. Ugh, my mouse. Where's uh, our boy Ken? Okay, so it's uh, zero less than i less than j uh, less than infinity. of of i to the j or i to the 1 over i is a 1 minus j to the 1 over j. So pretty simple math, but what is the answer? Some of you may not know even what the pi symbol means in math. Uppercase pi is the product. Yeah, some people know the answer. Summation is the sum. Pi is the, the product. So if I did this, the, the second problem is pick some arbitrary number, but There is an answer, yeah. Pick twenty twenty four as the second problem. And the answer is the same for both. The answer is zero, as somebody pointed out. Why is it zero? Yeah, the thing is most of these math problems are either the same or similar to other others. Only two people got it right, Fasal and Q-tip and Garp. Garp got it as well. Remember, I has to be less than J. Anybody else? That is not the answer, Garp. Yeah, Arthur got it. No, not i equals j zero and j equals zero. That does not happen because the conditions are here. He's right though. As long as there's one zero, that is also not going to end up being zero. They also zero is not a starting term. No, the difference is in approach zero. The application is how smart are you? And how do I want you managing quantitative money? No, GARP, it's, it's actually very much simpler than that. There's a there's a pair, two and four, that lead to zero. 
a zero answer. None of the numbers can be zero. They have to be integers above zero, no whole number. So if you do two, so what's two? It's the one half, that's the square root of two, right? So that's just the square root of two. Minus four to the one fourth, that's the square root of the square root. Well, the square root of two is four. I'm sorry, the square root of four is two. And the square root of two is the square root of two. And the square root of two minus the square root of two is zero. And that makes every other factor zero. Fasal, was it really in that movie? I don't think it was. So you have to solve for what he said earlier was the uh, Arthur had the partial answer. Exactly, Garp. Yeah, the, the, as long as one of these things becomes zero, then they're all zero. And you just have to solve for which, <laughs> how do I set this to zero, basically? And you can, basi partially filled. You, you can basically set it to zero, right? And then you could uh, uh, actually, you could sort of say, where, when does uh, i to the 1 over i equal j to the 1 over j. And that might make it a little easier for you to see when and where these two things should be equal. Basically, any time, I think it's any time i, uh, 2i equals j, uh, assuming that i is a multiple of 2, I guess. There should be more solutions like 4 and 8. Although it might be 4 and 16, actually. So it might be i equals j squared. Or j equals i squared. i squared equals j. So anyway, that's a... That's a Jane Street problem. I think you, you develop an intuition about these, and then you also look at um, Lots of these problems. So you've seen them before, whatever. Ah, uh, Kier, I'm up there. I don't know if I'm number one or not, but I think I'm up there. There's a lot of good funds out there. A lot of people have made a lot of money. Some of the guys who made so much money in, in these biotech shorts, they can't even really do them anymore. They have so much money. Yeah, it's leak code, exactly. It's not much different from leak code, and a lot of the stuff in that world is leak code. <laughs> Sometimes it's leak code in a different in, in in a different way. A lot of this stuff converges at the same place. Like so much of the world is now machine learning and deep learning. I mean, you're talking about math and statistics, you know, with computer science and algorithmic thinking, it's it's all one thing. Let's call it a quant.